Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are pruning our blueberry bushes. We've had these blueberry bushes for about uh, three years now. This is going into their third year. Um, I think around that time is when they say that you could start really pruning them. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. I've already done a couple, so I'm gonna show with you what it looks like on um, our biggest and our last one. A couple things on blueberries is that you do need to make sure if you have blueberries that you're going to have two varieties so they can cross pollinate and you can actually get fruit out of them. Um, we have ours in pots just because we wanted to be able to take them and move and actually plant them um, whenever we move. So we've always had them in pots. We haven't planted them in the ground. Um, another thing is that blueberries really like acidic soil. So I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna add an acidifier to it. And so I think it's five and a half or five is like their happy place on the pH scale. Um, so definitely more acidic than a lot of other plants. So you just need to be aware of that. So I'm gonna show you, um, this is the first time I've done this actually. I've, I've already done the other two, but this is the first time I've actually been pruning them. So um, you're looking for a couple of things. You're looking for any dead branches. So really brown and just like old branches. You're looking for that. Um, another thing is that you're gonna be wanting to keep the middle of the plant kind of free of a lot of like crossing or just a lot of entanglement. Um, so you want circulation, air circulation, so that you, you, that way you can um, actually get your fruit to ripen and be healthy. With any plant, you wanna make sure there's not a lot of like overlap um, because a lot of disease can happen that way um, and then fruit doesn't ripen and get to its best point at that point. Um, and then little tiny branches at the bottom um, that are like going out, um, I would say clip those off um, just because you want the plant to be growing upward. And any other branches that maybe they don't look necessarily dead, but they don't have any fruit buds on them. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So we already have on one of my plants, um, one of the other blueberry plants, they're starting to flower on a couple of the others. They're, they have their buds, but they haven't flowered yet. So that's kind of like where you want to do this. You don't want to do it um, too late when they already have the flowers because that's where they're going to have fruit. So um, late winter, early spring is when you, when you want to do this. There might be one freezing day that will happen before the beginning of April, which is when our um, last frost date is, but pretty much spring is here. So, um, but because these haven't flowered yet, it's still a good point to do this. So let me show you. I'm gonna show you what the buds look like, the fruit buds, and then um, kind of what you wanna be looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this as best as possible. My camera is literally my phone, so it's not the greatest in terms of detail, um, but I will show you kind of, this branch right here is kind of like a dead one, I would say. There's no like little leaf, I guess there's like tiny leaf buds, but, um, there's not any fruit buds or anything. It's a lot more brown. Um, anything that like is brown like this, can you see that my phone is not focusing? Um, that like grayish brown color, I'm gonna take off um, because it looks more dead and there's more of that in the middle. Look, that just like literally came out. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you can kind of see inside of here all this inner entanglement. I'm gonna try to free up like the newer stuff, the greenish reddish stuff from all the brown stuff. And you're just gonna wanna chop that across at the bottom. Um, the newer stuff um, or stuff on the edges that you need to do, I would probably do at like a 45 degree angle or so. You can't see that. My phone really is not the greatest for this. I wish I had another phone or another camera, but this is what I have. Um, so anything like that and then any little well, that one's kind of dead anyway, but like, I'm going to probably take this one off. This, this looks like newer growth, but it's like coming out from the bottom. So I'll take that off too. Um, so that the, those are the kind of things that you're looking for. And then anything that's not, um, doesn't have any fruit buds. So let me show you what the fruit buds look like. You can see, um, these little, let's see if I can get it to focus. Oh, there we go. Um, those little guys. So I have a good amount of those on these. And so you, that's going to be a blueberry. Um, so you'll have all those flower and you'll have that. So, um, that's what you're kind of looking for. 
Okay, so when you're doing this, you also just want to make sure that whatever you're using for your tool is like sterilized. That way you're not spreading disease and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after. So it's a lot more clean looking now. Honestly, this is my first time doing this. I feel like there's a couple situations where you're like, I don't know if I should do it. Should I do it? I don't think it's going to like hurt anything if you do it or you don't do it. You might just not get as much fruit as what you could have. Um, I think it's probably like testing and seeing. Um, I feel like there's some branches on here that the buds are about to show. Um, but I can't tell for sure if they're like going to produce it or not. So, um, I, who knows? So I'm just trying my best here. Um, if you have any tips, I would love to take them. I am new at this and I know that there's probably a way better way of doing it or more sound way of doing it. I'm just doing what I've looked up, um, and seen resources for. So anyway, um, so it looks a lot more clean and um just not as much like stuff in the middle and things getting tangled together so there's a lot more circulation um i've already done the other two so now i'm going to show you so after you do this what you want to do is you want to um go ahead and fertilize this so you want to fertilize it um around the same time and then mulch it so mulching is really important if you have a garden and you're not mulching that is a large mistake. Um, I don't mean to judge, but I'm just saying that you need to be mulching because it helps retain all the water in the soil and also um, really protects it from disease and all of that. So I would mulch. So I have a lot of pine mulch um, in the back. I'm going to go grab after I fertilize. So this is what I use for my um, blueberries. It's a soil acidifier by Espoma um, Organic. And for this, they have directions on the back. Um, for potted plants, it says add a tablespoon for each four inches of pot in diameter. So I have got varying sizes, so I'll do that. Um, so I'll add that, and then it's actually about to rain, so I'm not going to like water it in. I'm not like, literally about to get rained on, so I'm just going to let the rain do it <laughs> instead of me, because um, it's going to rain the rest of the evening. But um, So add that in, and then you want to mulch on top of it. And so... This has to do it every 60 days. People do that um, differently. It depends on what you want to do or what you research, but this does say every 60 days. So, um, so I'm going to do that and then mulch it and then we'll be done. So that took me like 15 minutes, not even, maybe like 10 if I wasn't talking to the camera the whole time. Um, so it's really quick and easy. I mean, I don't have extensive blueberry bushes by any means. So if you have like a large amount of blueberries, then it will obviously take longer. Um, but the reason for doing this, if you don't know, is just to have a more um, productive blueberry harvest um, each year. and you want to be able to cut off the dead stuff or the things that aren't producing. That way um, the plant can put more energy into the actual um, fruit bearing. And I cannot tell you what specific varieties these are. I honestly don't remember. I tried to look it up from like orders, past histories of like three years ago, but I couldn't find it. So these are different varieties. I just don't know what they are. So you do want to look at certain varieties for your area and your zone because different blueberry bushes have different um, varying chill hours that they need and so being here in the eastern North Carolina area 
I had to get varieties that were very low chill hours, like 200 hours or something, but there's some varieties that have like 600 hours. We just don't have um, a cold winter, and so that's why I decided to do that. So just look into that and look into your area. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.